Hey guys, I'm back. Just got back from the local card show here in Wichita. I figured I'd do a show and tell video before I mingle these all into my sets and take them off my checklist. I would say today was a successful day. Um, did get a bucket list card today that I really wanted. It's in this pile of cards. Um, I'll go through all these, kind of tell you the story between each one of them, and then we'll, we'll go from there. So the first bit is a, a guy in here locally brought me some cards uh, for... Uh, my 2021 Tops um, Chrome set, so that's what these are. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them. Got Joey Bart there. Happy to get that one off the list. He also brought these in. These are just some... Um, he gets like these these boxes full of just random cards, and and these are in there, including this 1959 card from the Detroit Tigers. So he thought, hey, I figured you'd enjoy this better than I, so he brought that in for me. I gave him some um, of those... What are those 86-looking cards? These things here... I gave him some of these in exchange for, for the cards they brought me. So it's just it's just about uh, filling in sets and not uh, so much about value. So uh, first booth I stopped at, um, finally got this one off the list. It was $3. I didn't even balk at the price. I was like, I want it. I want this set done. I think I am now down to like two cards to have the 84 Donner set finished. So hoping that will happen soon. Um, Next booth had these next three cards. I believe it was these three cards. Yes. Uh, Akil Badu uh, for Detroit Tigers. He had two of them. They were like a dollar each. Um, not real familiar with the Bowen Platinum, whatever these things are. But it is a Badu. I'll add that to my Tigers PC. Along with this Jeremy Bonner monograph card. It was two bucks. I'm not going to turn down a Jeremy Bonner monograph for two dollars. It's uh, I'm not even sure what year that is. Probably 2006 or something like that. That's 2005 Fleer. According to that, so um, yeah, I'll take that one. Went to another booth, and uh, the guys had a lot of good stuff, but I just had a very limited time, so I had to um, kind of scamper through things rather quickly. I uh, did find these. I know you guys are like, "Oh, they're twenty twenty one heritage." Well, guess what? They're all short prints, and I got all like six of these for like a buck. So for all of them together. So there they are. So you guys know I'm always trying to complete my heritage sets. I, I believe I already have Brett Gardner, but they make great trade bait so I can get the other ones that I need. Um, really trying hard to get that set knocked out before uh, High Numbers comes out, but I kind of doubt that's going to happen because I think High Numbers comes out early November. So um, Casey Mize card, a guy had this one in there. It's a really neat looking card. Again, it's not a, it's not a card I would have got out of a pack because of the uh, non-logos. This is exactly the same photo that was in the one that I showed in yesterday's video. Uh, with this, with, without the, they just used the same photo and just put different graphics around it and then put it in there. So, um, pretty cool card though. Uh, Casey Mize Prism. I don't. It's kind of got that rainbow effect to it. So I don't know if that's uh, um, FR one. So. Fearless is what it is, but um, yeah, it was $3 for that one. So another booth had this one for $2. I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, again, it's non-licensed card. I don't have it. Just building up my Casey Mize PC. I'm uh, kind of intrigued by that whole thing on Trading Card Database where you can kind of see where you stack up against other people uh, as far as like uh, teams or uh, one individual player. I do believe I'm in the top 10. I think after today, I'll probably be in the top five. So with all the cards I'm showing you here. Uh, another booth, these were all, um, these were all two for a dollar. Uh, I was not gonna balk at these. These are all gonna be heritage short prints. There's gonna be doubles in here, but I'm okay with that because you guys, like I just said, I will be happy to trade them off. Clayton Kershaw, I won't stick around too long. Miggy, um, I, I know I need one for my set, but uh, I'm debating on whether or not I want to keep one for my uh, Tigers PC or just trade it off. We'll see. Um, another one there. There's the JD Martinez short print. I'll put him in the back because it's a different year. Um, happy to have all those. So there was 12 of those plus this trout that he had. And the trout was 10. This would have been 6. He sold it all to me for 15. The trout alone goes for like $20, $25 on eBay. So wasn't going to turn that one down. Uh, for that he had this year 2019 trout but he wanted 25 dollars and after looking it up on ebay i was like oh, i'm glad i passed on that because that card's not worth but 15 so i'm um, happy to get those now 
as I was going, I was it was wrapping up um, my day there. I came across a guy that I bought cards from before, and I'm very appreciative of him because he said um, from one of the cards I'm going to show you. He says when I pulled this, I was thinking of you immediately. So um, I got these KC Mice cards right here, plus that one, which is my PC. The one the the card I this is my bucket list card that I've wanted. This is why I was getting the breaks. Uh, I was I was snipe bidding uh, cheap breaks on eBay, hoping to get this. I got a ton of his um, base rookies. I did not get the refractor. I did get a prism refractor, I believe. But um, I've been I've been wanting this card. I got all of these for this is them. I got all four of these for fifty bucks. So. Um, this is a base uh, stadium club. Again, this is another non-licensed rated rookie. Uh, Donner's Optic, I believe. It's like a blue Pandora is what it was. It is numbered 63 to 99. Uh, this one is not numbered. It's just a base card. I do have the chrome version of this card. Um, Trading Card Database does not have a list on it, so I don't really know much about it. Um, then this red... I'm not sure what this is. This was also numbered. I believe this was three of one. Yeah, three of one ninety nine. So happy to have that. And as you guys know, I'm extremely happy to have this. This is a card I've wanted. Um, price point on this card on eBay at the time because I did look it up before buying it. I thought the price was low, um, primarily because when I last looked at them, it was when Chrome was out, and this was a hundred and hundred fifty dollar card. Yeah, the price has come down considerably, which makes it affordable for me. And I'm happy to have this added to my collection. This is a base auto rookie for Casey Mice. So happy to have that. Um, as I was, uh, the last table I stopped at before I left was uh, this guy. He had all of these. And it's been the Spencer Torkelson's, which I went ahead and grabbed. The Riley Green, I'm not sure why I grabbed that one, but um, hopefully he'll pan out for us. And then uh, Torkelson again, and then this Luis Robert I needed for my Chrome set. So these four, I believe I overpaid a little bit, but um, I think it'd be twenty for these five cards right here. So not not too bad. Um, it's, it's four dollars a card. And then a buddy of mine, I traded him some uh, Chrome cards that he needed for his set, and he brought me this Chrome um, Casey Mice. So. Happy to add that to my um, Casey Mice PC. I, I've got a stack. If you guys didn't watch the video, um, I think like three weeks ago, I shot a video on the Casey Mice cards I have. Um, it, it has grown considerably since. Um, the video I shot that I uh, put up on YouTube yesterday highlighted some of the nicer ones that I've gotten recently, but I have, I've gotten a lot of these like little random ones here and there, so. Um, because that is my haul from today's card show. Sorry, I didn't fan them out so I could do like a pano, but, um, that was my haul from today. Um, put that one front and center. I'll just do that like that. And then the rest of these, there's more Casey Mize cards, more Casey's short prints. We're just going to stack those up. Got a Jeremy Bonderman there, Kill the Deuce. Happy to get that one, and then we will leave these like that and that. So here's kind of a panel of what I got. So there it is. So happy to have all that. So probably spent about um, probably about a hundred bucks today on just that. So that's a lot of money. But um, there's that trout hiding in here too. Get JD Mart out of the way. So there's the trout right there as well. So. Not too bad. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.